Hey Bex, today is Monday, November 14th, and I'm going to talk to you today about The Legend of Zelda games. I'm not going to tell you so much about each game, I'm not going to review every game, but I'm going to just go through like my history with the series and a little bit about why I like the games in general. Now, The Legend of Zelda wasn't like my first video game or anything like that. But I feel like it was pretty close. It's one of the ones I have the earliest memories of, aside from like the Atari, which is what we had in my family for ages. I played a lot of Breakout as a kid, because that's what we had. But I had friends who had other systems, so you know, I would be able to play Mario at other people's houses. For the longest time, I would die because I could not kill or jump over that first Goomba that comes at you. I guess that would be the other way to the video. So that was embarrassing. But um but really there wasn't much in the way of video games for me. Now in like fourth or fifth grade, I was going to Direct Center, the after school program, the one I'm working at now, um, and they have like video game systems and they had a Super Nintendo there. And one of the things they had for that Super Nintendo was A Link to the Past. And you only got like 15 minutes on the system, and then it was someone else's turn. My 15 minutes were spent playing A Link to the Past, except for the times when I was playing Paperboy or Super Mario. But a lot of times, it was a link to the past. And you can't get very far in 15 minutes. But I would try. You fast forward a little. Once I'm in high school, I think, I finally got a new system. And that was when I got a Game Boy Advance. And the first, I was allowed by my parents to buy one game with it. I couldn't decide because there were two I wanted. And it was these two. Zelda Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. And I wanted to get them because like they actually go together. Like once you beat one game you get like some codes and stuff that you can put into this game and get bonuses and then once you beat this one there's the codes for this one and it goes in the big circle. And I never finished either of these. That's that's kind of a running theme with these games actually. I am awful at finishing Zelda games. But these were my first games for my first system, for the system that I got for myself. So there's that. And then as time went on, I accumulated a lot of Zelda games. For Game Boy, there is Link's Awakening. Going forward a little bit, A Link to the Past came out on Game Boy Advance, so this is the one I played at Direct Center, now in tiny form. And then there is the Minish Cap, which is the only Zelda game I have finished. So there's that. Fast forward a little more, I get a hold of a Nintendo DS, and I bought Phantom Hourglass. No, I think my mom got that one for me, actually. No, or this one. No, she got me this one, which is Spirit Tracks. And then we move forward a bit more, and I get the 3DS so that I can play Ocarina of Time, finally. So, in addition to those, I also have the first two Zelda games for Nintendo. I bought them from a friend, and I still have an original Nintendo. It is a lot harder when you can't save. So, long story short, I have a lot of Zelda games. I don't know when I got them all. I looked yesterday, I was like, holy smokes, where did these all come from? But I have a lot of them. There are a lot of them. It's that this year is actually the 25th anniversary of the franchise. So, what am I trying to say? I love the games. Even as you go through the different games in the franchise, there's new things, but the core feel of it is the same. And I really like that. And through all the games I've played, I have had the same feeling in every one. I still, I enjoy them all. So, yeah. That is all I have to say. At Bex, I will see you on Wednesday.